everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Jedi Knight, episode 21, I think, because I think last week's episode was 20. Uh, um, so, we need to head our way to Belsavis because Satio has found out that the Emperor has a weird plan on Belsavis, and we need to go and stop it, whatever it is. Um, and last time, we got a new companion! Hello, Scourge! Um, Scourge is somebody who is actually from the Revan novel. If you've ever read it, or if you've never read it, so go ahead and read that. I read like a chapter of it, and then I stopped, so I do need to get back into that at some point. Um, but we're going to welcome him to our ship. I thank you for your trust, Jedi. I might not have given mine so freely were our positions reversed. Until the Emperor's death, we are allies, not friends. Agreed. As I told your council. The Emperor's plan is not to rule the galaxy, but to consume it. I've devoted centuries to stopping him. For a time, I worked with the greatest of your Jedi heroes, Revan and the Jedi Exile. But they did not have the strength to complete their task. That's quite a claim. You will find no proof. I hid my association with them well. Nonetheless, I was their ally in the shadows. Helping them oppose my Lord Emperor. Until my vision. Jedi. Shining with the Force. Lined up to destroy him. All were swept aside. Revan and the Exile were cast at my feet. Then, out of the shadows, one Jedi emerged to cut the Emperor down. That Jedi wore your face. If the hopes of so many rest with me, I will do my best to honor them. If you succeed, there will truly be a void left to fill. In the vision, I bowed to you and took a crown from the Emperor's head. Oh. It ended when you held his power in your hands. Ooh. Ooh, his power in my hands, eh? Does that mean I get to become the Emperor? Doc, my darling! Gotta say, this is one comfy starship. Never saw anything this cushy on the Outer Rim. Those fringers use rocks for pillows. And medical care? <laughs> Forget it. Coltol might as well be a myth. Tough work being a doctor outside the core. I take it you didn't start your career on Balmora? Born on Raltier. Graduated Coruscant University. Highest honors. I could have gone home, had a safe medical practice, and died of boredom. But I'm a man of action. You have any idea how many people have tried to kill me for bringing quality health care to their planet? In my experience, helping others is hazardous to your health. Luckily for my patients, I enjoy a challenge. The frontier worlds are crawling with pirates, gangsters, and tax collectors. But they're no match for old Doc. Not everyone needs a laser sword and mind tricks to get out of a tight spot. It's called a lightsaber. Well, you have your own special abilities. Nice of you to notice. If I were you, I wouldn't leave the ship without me. Oh, well, that's exactly what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to leave the ship without you, because you are my companion. Although... Shut up. Because um, <laughs> I'm thinking, should I maybe take Lord Scourge with me? Because Scourge is, is a dark side sort of person. He likes all the things which I'll like. Doc, on the other hand... But, yeah, we'll take Doc it with me anyway because I like him. Ever since our dance with Darth Angrel, I felt different. Good different. No more Emperor in my head. Sick creep was dragging me down, holding me back. Being free from that? Nifty. You're positive the Emperor can't influence your mind? All that's left are bad memories and an aversion to creepy old men, oh. which is healthy. You don't talk about what the Emperor did to you. Must have been bad. He took away my self-control. Forced me to do terrible things. It happens to the best of us. Wasn't your fault. Wasn't it? We've still got a galaxy to save. Let's get back to it. Okay, so at that point in your companion story where you kind of... You've established what happened in the last episode. Yeah, it was actually the last episode that happened, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was. Um, I know T7 needs to speak to us, but... T7 can go screw himself. 
<laughs> get it? He's a droid. He has scripts. He can get his scripts. <laughs> love me, please love me. Master Satil, we've arrived at Belsavis. Have you learned anything? The Empire just launched a surprise attack there. Dangerous prisoners are free from their cells to wreak havoc down on the surface. A mere diversion. The Emperor has only one true goal. The annihilation of all life on this world. Just tell me what to do. We don't know how the Emperor intends to destroy all life on Belsavis. We do have one lead. Intelligence indicates a high-ranking Imperial named Executor Kranis recently arrived on World. Not Kranitoka? Kranis is a pure-blooded Sith. Fanatically loyal to the Emperor. Whatever the plan is, he's the one tasked with carrying it out. He can't carry out the plan if he's dead. N.A. Tabord, a member of our Order, is already on the surface looking for Kranis. She'll help you find the Executor, but she isn't strong enough to stop him. That task falls on you. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only Jedi getting anything done. We all serve in our own way. You are our greatest warrior, and our best hope. Go to the planet's surface and meet Anna at the coordinates I'm sending you now. May the Force be with you. That was a bit weird when uh, she said Kranus. I'm thinking, Kran? There's actually somebody named Kran? Short term in this game? Like a real character called Kran? Wow. I just realized Belsavis music, the start up to Belsavis's music kind of reminds me of uh, the Godzilla music. A little bit. Listen, you know, go on YouTube or something, search for the Belsavis music, and then listen to like the start of it, and you'll think, huh, yeah, that does sound like it could be Godzilla. Now, my biggest concern for Belsavis is that it's level 42 to 44, 46, isn't it? I think so I'm a little bit under the radar um, just a little bit but we'll see how far we get um, before I decide to I don't know do some heroics or something oh I got some new abilities apparently using a lightsaber is just as much science as art really oh take that ability that looks like an amazing ability let's put it there put you there put you there put you there uh, and there's nothing we there far any time we could spar, eh? I don't know where I was going with that. I never know. I never know. I just make it up. Yeah, so we got scouts at level 42 and I'm level 38. This is not going to go well. I'm already going the wrong way. Sorry, I'm going through your cabbage patches, but it needs to be done for me to get to where I need to go, apparently. Oh, that's not a door. For some reason, I thought that was a way through. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Leave me alone. 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 Wait, you're a throat slitter. Is that literally all you do in life? That is literally your job. So, uh, so, 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 hey, James, uh, I just want you to, uh, go around and throat slit, em slit, what? <sighs> I've had a busy day, alright? I've ruined my joke. I'm ruining my jokes. I'm, don't, don't judge me. Don't, 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 don't judge me. Think I'm just gonna stick to the path. That way nobody will attack me. Ooh, is that something for a crew skill? Most likely. I wish that people would stop attacking me. No, stop it! Uh, do I need to go down that way or do I go straight ahead? I'm guessing this way, but if the map appears and I'm going the wrong way, I'm going to flip my shiz. Uh, I think we're good. Ah, I need to go here anyway. Hmm, why is it that sort of icon then if I've got to go inside? Oh, it's like, oh, thank God. Oh, so I could have just. Ah! Oh! I could have just taxied here. I hate this game sometimes. Uh oh. Whoa, hold on. You're the Jedi who was supposed to meet Anna, right? I know what this looks like, but I told her to wait for you. She wanted to go outside, scout the area. So you killed her? I warned her if the Imperials didn't get her, the escaped convicts would. And it didn't listen. You're the only one with her. It doesn't look good. Well, you're a Jedi. Can't you read my thoughts? I'm telling the truth. That's not how it works. We can't read minds. 
but I'll make your head explode like an overripe melon if you cross me. I'll keep that in mind. Pack Taldine. I work here. In a herd, I know Bell Savis better than anyone, and asked me to help her. I had no idea what I was signing up for. Now I just want to get out of this alive. Jedi aren't easy to kill. What happened to Enna? She crawled back from her scouting mission, wounded and barely alive. Said she escaped from an Imperial patrol. I tried to help her, but I'm not a medtech. She told me everything she learned out there, right up to her last breath. None of it was good news. So you're telling me the soldiers outside were just all like, Uh, you just keep crawling in. Yeah, you go ahead. Anna might have been overmatched here, but I'm a lot stronger than she was. The least I can do is tell you what you're up against. Anna told me the Imperials are entrenched by the main reactor. They were taking orders from a pure-blood Sith. They have heavy weapons and a ray shield protecting their position. Nobody's moving them from that reactor anytime soon. Why are the Imperials so determined to hold that position? The reactor controls the security gates. The Imperials are sending troops deeper into the prison and making it impossible for us to follow them. You'll never get past the Imperial shields before their heavy weapons mow you down. We need a plan. You've never seen me in action. I make my plans up as I go. You try and smash your way through, you'll die. Let's be smart about this. If you overload the energy relays feeding the sector's power grid, you could knock down that ray shield. We've got ion charges here. We could plant one at each power relay, detonate them simultaneously, and short out the Imperial defenses. Let's get one thing straight. I'm the hero. <laughs> You're just a guy who needs to stay out of my way. Are you kidding? I'm not leaving this room. Wouldn't last two heartbeats out there. I can detonate those charges from here once they're all in place. Just say the word. Good luck. And watch your back. You decided to get angry, Kashilla. You're getting angry. Maybe we will keep her uh, scourge out for this. Do you right. agree? Yeah, I knew you'd agree. Yeah. Hello, Sith. I'll kill you within 30 seconds. What? Fool. You're a fool. Wait, did you say fool to me or? Oh, scourge is what I say fool. You didn't sound, it didn't sound like scourge. I guess I'll kill you within like 30 seconds, but that's probably not going to happen now. Um, yeah. Gotta love heroic moment. I'll take whatever you drop. 734 credits. That'll do. And plan to let the device. And now we just need to go over to B. Ha ha. Oh. 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 Um. I'm. 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 I'm probably screwed. But we'll we'll see how far we get before we make a judgment. Wow, 19 frames per second. How beautiful. 41, 42, 41, 41. We're good. We're good with these cre these creatures. These uh, Imperials. But I never know what to say. Shall I use her at the moment? Eh, might as well. Haha. -ha. You're spinning right round, baby. Right round. Come on. There we go. And flamethrower, you Ah, she dead. Cool. Okay, you can stop now, Orbital Strike. Great. I'll pick up the credits. And Hollow Terminal. Pack, the ion charges are all in place. Take down that Sith Ray Shield. I read you. Detonating the ion charges. Now. I cleared the way. Now comes the fun part. Taking on Sith heavy weapons. Good luck. I'll be standing by. It's funny. I was standing right by it. I felt no or saw no explosion. Wow! Why do you always sound like cats? I wonder if they just took a cat's meow and then sped it up and then all of a sudden you have a rift lurker. Meow. So what I mean is, is that it went from a cute little meow and then became a meow. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. Don't knock me off my mount. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, little baby Varactors, I want one so bad. I've gone the wrong way. This isn't the phase I need. Boo. Is this actually the way I need to go? Uh, no. No. Maybe. Um, no. Uh, huh. 
Okay, so I need to go this way, is it? Have I got any crew skills? Oh my god, I've got no crew skills on this character. Well, is there really any point in getting any crew skills on this character when I can just do it on my Dark vs. Light characters? And then gain the, uh, the crew skills on that. And then not only do the Dark vs. Light achievements, but also do the main achievements. Yes. Why do I keep clicking? Well, it's fun to click. Was well, that a Sith? Hey, no, it's a Jedi actually, a Jedi Knight. Hi. Um, I didn't heal myself up, and that was. A, oh. Uh oh. Uh. I'm a little screwed. Going to die. Yeah, I know. Give me a sec. I got a heroic moment. Let me do this. No, don't die. Don't die to share. I need your life. I need your life. So I can use her at moment and completely miss everybody. There we go. Good. Yep. Yep. I know. I know. You're, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Don't worry. I really hope the Imperial Commander isn't level 43. And I really hope I don't encounter all these droids in there. Right, can I sneak by? Uh, I wish I had some sort of sneak ability, but I don't. So I have to kill this turret gunner, as well as you. Good, you're level 42. Just good enough at the moment. Oh wait, I saw my hero at the moment. Ha ha! I just wasted that ability, but oh well! Um, 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 I need to go this way. Oh, there's a droid there. No! Oh, well, I have heroic moment. That's a plus. No, don't. Let me use my heroic moment before I run. Oh, God, I'm running out. No, 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 no. Throw the grenade. Throw the grenade. Okay. We're good. I think. I don't know. Help. Oh. What? Huh? When was I doing a bonus mission? I... Okay, that, that, thanks, I think. 42, 41, 42. Okay, we're good. As long as you keep it that way, we'll be okay for this episode. But between now and next week's episode, gonna be doing some leveling, I think. Why do you do that? Wish you would stop that. Uh, Colonel Harris. I've been expecting you. Have you? The fool who defied the Emperor's glorious will. Do you even understand what you threw away when you turned against him? Do you realize what others would give to serve his bidding? Nobody controls me. Not even the Emperor. My mind is my own. We all have masters, Jedi. You simply chose the Council over the Emperor. You'll regret that. I still have free will, though. I suppose I should thank you. You might have become the Emperor's right hand. Usurped my lover's rightful place. Colonel Harith, status report. The reactor is offline and this area is sealed, Executor. The Jedi is here. Our distraction worked perfectly. You did all this just to trap me? The chaos Colonel Harith unleashed purchased the time I required to complete my mission. Soon all life on this world will be destroyed. You, me, Kranus, all of us sacrifice for the Emperor's glory. Oh. He will become immortal, all-powerful. He will raise up all those who served with true devotion, and together we will rule the galaxy. You're truly willing to die for the Emperor? You refuse to see the truth. I don't have to defeat you, just slow you down. You've lost. We will meet again at the Emperor's side, my love. Let death take us all. Rather it didn't. Uh, one second and her moment! Ah, beautiful! Absolutely perfect timing! Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Oh, hi. Uh, hello. H how are you all doing? Are, are you all good? Yeah, hi. Hello. You all came out of nowhere. I don't know why you all came out of nowhere, but... Uh, uh, you should all die. Right. Ah. Uh, Use the reactor controls. Let's get this up and running again. Thank you for slaying Colonel Harris. 
Her death at your hand has surely marked her as one of the Chosen. <sighs> she will receive a place of honor when the Emperor grants us eternal life. She's not coming back to life. That doesn't happen. I may not feel the Force as you do, Jedi, but I know its power transcends death. The spirits of ancient Sith linger in their tombs. Dead Jedi Masters guide their former Paduans. I've heard the tales. I know the truth. This delay has cost you. Now you cannot stop what is to come. The Emperor's will is inevitable. Pack, come in. Executor Kranus isn't here. He's already gone deeper into the prison. Maybe we can track him using the prison surveillance systems. Let me see what I can cook up. Republic reinforcements are finally on their way to secure that generator. Head back to my position. I'll start searching for Kranis. If you could maybe, uh, cook up Reckonings some chicken. Reckonings arrive at their own pace. No need to rush them. Reckonings arrive at their own pace. Okay. That, thanks for all that wisdom, I think. I is back. Uh, there you are. I'm picking up lots of chatter on the comm network. Here, listen to this. Alert, alert. This is Dr. Gantrell. Our sector is overrun. We've taken refuge inside one of the unused containment vaults. This is the only distress call we can send. Can't risk those blood skin fiends tracking our signal. Dr. Gantrell, out. Sounds like he's describing Executor Kranis. Dr. Gantrell and his team were working in the high security wing. Clearance way beyond my position. They all have subdermal tracking chips, so the Republic can locate them in an emergency. Dr. Gantrell must have figured we'd use the chips to find which vault they're hiding in. I've got a bad feeling about this. <sighs> what if Kranis is setting us up? We either pursue this, or sit here and wait for Kranis to blow up the planet. The Imperials disabled all the monitoring stations, but if you repair them, I can pinpoint Dr. Gantrell's location. We can't afford to waste time chasing our tails. We still don't know the Imperials plan to destroy Bel Savas, but there must be a reason he's after Dr. Gantrell. Call me when you get the monitoring stations up and running. I'll use them to locate the doctor. And we'll do that next time. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me take this, thank you. Uh, do I need this one or do I need... Uh, technically... Yes. Oh, that's got... Uh, I'll take the crystals. I'll take the crystals and level 39. Thank you very much. But we'll leave it here for now. Next time we'll be heading over there. Ooh. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I... And Scourge. There are things you should know. Tell me when you're ready to hear them. Oh. Cool. Shall see you next time. Any farewell to you.